Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome back to my Manchester United Football Manager 2016 Let's Play. This episode, Europa League Quarter Final versus West Ham. So we're actually going to be playing three games in this episode. The first leg against West Ham, and then we've got Southampton in the league, and then the second leg against West Ham. It's probably going to be really interesting. Then after that, we've got Leicester and Tottenham. I think we're in a really good position to finish third. I do want to finish third, like I mentioned. Don't want to be playing an early qualifying game for the Champions League group stage uh, next season. But yes, you can also see we drew against Everton. A bit disappointing that they got that equaliser, what, 61st minute. Memphis got a brace. One of them was a free kick as well. He had a massive game for us. Uh, really, really impressed with him. Uh, and after that disappointment, but away from home, Everton, uh, decent form so far this season. Well, in this season so far. It's in April. We're pretty deep into the season. But then we smashed Sunderland at home. 4-0 Martial with the brace. And then Rashford with a goal. And Lingard to finish things off very, very late in the game in the 89th minute. Very impressive performance. But again, it was only against Sunderland. And I also have signed a new contract. But before I go through that, I just want to say, like, this has been a normal football manager season for me. A first football manager season when you kind of have to play for a new contract. Obviously, you only have the one-year default, the first season uh, for your contract. And yeah, just I created my tactic like I normally do. And problems <laughs> arose after a while and we started pretty well there's a decent amount of wins and being not unbeaten we lost against Aston Villa there an extra time but yeah definitely we had a good streak of not losing games or not even a streak just in that period we didn't lose many so that was the good sign so this happens in Football Manager sometimes. When you create your own tactic as well, that's uh, something I would have to say. And not just downloading a super tactic that you can just, yeah, win easily and there you go, no problems. Uh, but yeah, you create your own tactic and then maybe you'll start getting some bad results and then you change it up like I did and then get these wins in a row and more importantly, clean sheets. So yeah, to have that on the record, uh, that actually looks <laughs> that looks pretty good, doesn't it? So yeah, solve the problems there. And yeah, pretty decent form uh, since then. Like I know there we had three draws in a row, but that still counts as being unbeaten in this period after the Chelsea game. So I am pleased with that. And then beating Man City. So I've liked how I've turned it around in the season. And that was just a small period where I was doing poorly, I guess you can say. And that's the thing in Football Manager. You become under fire really, really, maybe undeservedly because I turned it around so easily. I, I personally don't think my job should have been under fire because look at the position we're in right now. What? We're only... Six points, so that's like two wins off second. And yeah, look how close we are from first. Imagine if we win the next game. Like, yeah, it, it hasn't been a terrible season as a whole. So I'm actually really happy with how I've done this season because you know, I had faith in my ability and everything like that <laughs> that I always kind of mention. But yeah, I signed a new deal to uh, the end of the 2019 season. So I'm pretty impressed with that. But yeah, I won't go on too long about that because... I don't want to praise what I've done too much. And if we get knocked out of the Europa League against West Ham, it's not going to look very good. I will after I beat them, yeah? Oh my God, there's more suspensions. Oh no. First, Chris Smalling, Phil Jones. Uh, I brought in Eric Bailly. He played that second leg uh, to my memory. And yeah, we didn't do too well defensively. I know I shouldn't judge him on that single performance, but yeah, like... You told me to give him a chance. 6.5, I did. And yeah, I, I still want to have a good balance of listening to you guys and kind of make you feel that I do listen to what you say uh, in the comments. But I also want to keep to my structures and how I normally play Football Manager because that's why I started a channel at the start of the channel, if that makes sense, in the first place when I got the idea because I wanted to share how I play Football Manager not how other people play Football Manager, and hopefully that's why you watch me as well. Obviously, yeah, maybe sign players, you might suggest everything like that, but for the most part, I just want to share how I play Football Manager. That, that's as simple as it is, um, and yeah, like, people try and control you so much <laughs> with everything you do, but I think you get my point anyway, like, I want to, yeah, play the way I play for the most part, like, with my tactics and players I sign, players I sell, and just, yeah, everything like that, and hopefully you kind of 
get something from that because I know majority of people do. And even if it's not majority, if it's just a handful of people that get tips and become a better player because of me and I don't even think I'm good at football manager I think I've played it for a long time well not think it's the truth I've played it since like 2007 when I was like 15 years old so that was a long time ago but yeah I don't think I'm the best at the game and I don't try to be the best I think people think that I think I'm good at the game if if you can understand that uh, because I have a lot of subscribers but Yeah, like, I don't think I'm good at the game. Look, hell, I look for tips on, like, fan sites and everything like that for tactics. And that's how you become a good player, (laughs) uh, to be honest. But we're going to have to make some changes. But, yeah, just as a kind of notice, I suppose, going forward, I don't think I'm good at football. I don't think I'm, like, an amazing master at the game. I just like the game. I like Football Manager. That's why I've, I've played it for this many years, you know, because I enjoy playing it, <laughs> as simple as that. So, yeah, I hope you guys understand. I'm just like your everyday player. Like, I'm not, like, special or something like that. I just had this dedication to producing content of Football Manager and FIFA videos, and, yeah, that's why I've got a decent amount of subscribers and this viewer base. It's not because I'm amazing at the game. So, I hope you guys... That's not really how YouTube works. You still have to be decent at the game. Good enough to share your views and tips uh, that people would like to see. But, yeah, I just want to get that out there uh, so you guys can really understand where I'm coming from and I guess what kind of player I am in Football Manager. I'm not the best or anything like that. But, yeah, we just need to make some good changes here Uh, to make sure we do start well, so yeah, sorry if that kind of thing bores you, but just talk about what's on my mind a little bit, so you can understand, but yeah, we are going to bring on some big guns here, one matter, he'll go the wide playmaker, and yeah, Memphis, okay, we'll put him on the winger, again, we'll see if that's going to be the right decision, because you usually have that white midfielder, but I don't really want to, I, I just think, yeah, it could Again, it's just experimenting. A wide midfield has been doing well because it's a mix of going attack and defensively. But yeah, we just got to keep experimenting <laughs> with that because it is a better role for Memphis. Uh, uh, it's really hard uh, to notice. On the spot as well. Um, people like you to just, yes, like split seconds, th- split second decisions. So yeah, things go nice and fast. But sometimes football manager is a thinking game. So sometimes I'll mull over things like I am right now, where I'm thinking about it in my head to see what's the best decision. But I think, oh, but yeah, just look at the players we're missing. Those players, those names are so key right there. But yeah, let's head into the game right now. I'm really intrigued to see West Ham's lineup, though. Like, who's playing for them? Okay, they got John and Lanzini. Oh, Pi- oh the wingers. Sisto, he's good in football managers. Well, they got a Poyet. Payet and Poyet, that's not confusing at all. So, yeah, they actually got a oh, solid defense, I suppose. You got, what, Cresswell, Ogbonna, Reed, and is that Di, Di Silvestri? And Adrian as the goalkeeper, so it's not terrible. You can see why they've made it this far, I suppose. Uh, so, Payet, for him, we're going to tight mark him. He's clearly a dangerous player. And Sisto, yeah, those dangerous wingers, I think. Um, Ola Jan, I don't think he is that good. Look, those mental attributes are so weak. Hasn't played too many games, but well, he's, he's scored like one goal, so yeah, it's not too much. Uh, there's a lot of ones there, but yeah, he, he seems okay, but like compared to our defenders, we should be able to contain him, I'd like to think, and we shouldn't concede a goal here. It would be nice if we can score a couple away goals. Uh, that would be pretty sweet. And it's easier, I suppose, than normal... Well, not normal, but other away games in Europe when you're not facing someone in England because it's not really such a disadvantage because uh, you're not travelling as far as you would, um, as it would be in different country. But we're going to say, come on, lads, show me what you can do and keep our run going. Let's start the match now. And I know it did take a while, well, to some people who really want to get into the action right away in a video, like start <laughs> start a game within 20 seconds. But yeah, Football Manager is not FIFA in that way, I suppose, because sometimes I do get those comments. But yeah, sometimes before I get into the game, there's things to talk about, not just random things, but actually in the game. Football Manager is more than just playing the matches. So, so in-depth. That's why I love Football Manager. It's so intriguing. Uh, for me, 
And there's like, so, uh, that's that's the thing. Like, I could talk about so much things about Football Manager. That's why I get that way. I could, yeah, like, I could just discuss Football Manager all day. Like, talk to someone about it. And I've done that before, actually. <laughs> like, when I was in school and and actually once someone, like, on the bus, I talked to them the whole time about Football Manager because uh, I saw them playing it as well. It was crazy. But, yeah, again, this is something the, some of you probably don't care about but i don't know i like just yeah sharing everything with football managers some of you will find it interesting and yeah those are the ones i'd like to focus on you know what i mean but yeah it's a crazy game football manager in terms of what it can do <laughs> uh but what are we doing in this game not much defensively we've been good west ham not much possession at all but i suppose we've both got uh, two shots on target but i'm looking at these fouls these <laughs> yellow cards right now uh, we've, what, committed 12 fouls? Not very good. Uh, well, that's kind of game we kind of play, a bit more aggressive. But, yeah, I don't really know. Like, is that bad or good? <laughs> we didn't create many chances, so not good there. But defensively, we didn't let them have any chances at all at home. So that's good. So, boys, I'm probably going to have to make a change here. I'm pretty impressed with our defensive performance. You can't fault us, but... We need an away goal, I would think. And Zlatan Ibrahimovic, whew, he's not a player you want to substitute out, but he's not having a good game. I think Schweinsteiger, oh, he's not playing his best role. Ooh, because I took it out for you know, Schneiderlin, didn't I? That's his best role, see? <laughs> Those things you can kind of get sidetracked by. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to bring on Marcus Rashford, and he's going to play central midfield as a ball-winning midfielder on support. No, he's not. We're going to bring in Rooney into that position. And then, can we change the role? Can you go box to box? Advanced playmaker. We'd have to play with two advanced playmakers then. But actually, we'll put on support. Two advanced playmakers. That's a lot of playmaking in midfield. Because you get what? Maybe I'll try it. Hell, let's experiment. That's another thing I like to do with my videos as well. Just, yeah, trying new things. And if it suddenly works, maybe it's something you could try yourself again. Just something random like that. Oh, let's see. But a lot of the time, those things don't work. But at least, yeah, it's not me. Or at least it's not you looking bad. It's me. <laughs> to make a fool of myself. Uh, which I don't mind doing every so often. But there is a highlight right away. This is the part I like, where I could look like a genius. Oh, where I could look like a genius. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, I told you, he's dangerous. And he scores his 25th goal of the season, mate. Wow, how about that? Instant change, instant rewards. So we're going to see the replay on 3D. Let's take a look at this. Rashford just coming on. Like, seriously. That change. <laughs> how good that does that make me look, really? I love it when that happens. But again, like I said, uh, maybe you may... I'm not sure if that's just how it worked out. Or it wouldn't have made a difference. Maybe I would have scored anyway without those changes. But if we score again, it might work. Rashford, could he do something special? Laporte is offside, but you could almost see an instant change. Oh my god, look how many highlights. I know these are corners, but there's still chances. Rashford! Oh my day, son! Oh! I swear, he's exciting. I can't wait to use him in FIFA 17, because obviously I'm not going to develop him so much, and he's going to be more natural. He's like starting potential. Obviously, I'm using uh, edited transfer update I downloaded, so... Yeah, wow, he is so exciting, and obviously the journey is basically based on him, like Alex Hunter, <laughs> that's basically Rashford, uh, wow, but yeah, how about, I'm going to have to, just in my head now, I'm going to have to, well, not create a new tactic, maybe I'll just, yeah, play two advanced playmakers and see how that goes, and then you got the wide playmaker in one matter. See, that kind of thing, it just in intrigues me, just, just those few little things in Football Manager is just how they come about, I suppose, just, yeah, randomly, and, very, and and when I get excited about it, I notice I kind of, like, maybe uh, trip over my words a little bit, and I notice, like, it's rarely, people don't say it often, but um, they say you stutter, it's, I don't have a stutter, like, not, like, technically, or it's not, like, a condition I have, that, that's, that's definitely, I just get excited about things, and then, yeah, maybe I'm not sure, like, what to say, I definitely don't stutter, it's like, yeah, it's not like something I have, like, people who actually have that, and they, yeah, stutter with problems, like, every single day, 
like <laughs> like that's a daily thing i don't have that i just sometimes i get excited about things and that's the way it comes out i suppose i'm just like yeah really excited <laughs> but yeah i don't technically have a stutter which i don't even, yeah i just don't know what to say sometimes because obviously this is live and unedited as well because obviously it's live commentary but yeah uh, the one thing i'll probably yeah say i do get excited about things <laughs> 100% but anyway michael carrick is going to come on and this is where we'll change it to defend just yeah maybe slightly defensive in the role because we've got that goal now and eric bay do we bring on a center back uh, yeah Eric laporte will take him off we've got a lot of games within this period so yeah more of the same from you tonight michael carrick and eric bay hopefully he doesn't make an error coming on just get some game time into him so just injury time to be played out here. Okay, yep, yeah, this is going to be a decent result in the first leg. But still, we've got a second leg to play. We've got the away goal. They didn't score at home. So, yeah, advantage in the home leg is right there. And what a performance, though, by Damian. Really solid as a fullback. Really amazing. Making me rethink, like, signing another right back. But, like, he's that key right back position. So maybe just a younger guy that could be for rotation yeah i don't really know it's uh, do you go for a big right back because damien he's been really good consistently this season now guys we're going to get straight into this southampton game they're actually in 18th so the poor had a really terrible season considering their ability and expectations so we're looking at this as a must win and still keep in mind, we've got the West Ham second layer, what, four days later. But this is away from home. It could still be tricky. I would like to think Southampton is still a decent team regardless of their position. They, like, yeah, they do have some decent players. But we are rotating the team as much as we can. There's some players that would be rotated if it wasn't for injuries. But we got to, or they have to really, they just got to work. <laughs> They've just got to push that extra uh, kind of 10% maybe. Instead of going 100%, go 110%, like daily blend. Normally, you would think, yeah, Luke Shaw will come in uh, for that kind of percentage. So, yeah, we just need to... And same with Damien, really. It's not like we have a... Well, yeah, I suppose, yeah, maybe Valencia would rotate in. But, yeah, for the most part, yeah, they just have to give it their all. And hopefully, they can do that. And, yeah, as I said, we will get straight into this game. Schneiderlin... Rashford, ball through, ball through, Rashford, come on. No, he goes to Ander Herrera, Martial. Oh, they're just stuffing around with it there. And now Southampton, they could have the opportunity. It's going to be their chance now. Oh, we we should have created a chance for ourselves, to be honest. And now they've got the opportunity. It's Tadic, Pala, Pala. We, <laughs> that goal, again, it comes from just not creating our own chance, giving the ball away. Really disappointing. And I was actually thinking there... Southampton could be that team I do in FM17, um, like a mid-table team, long-term save. Not sure what you guys think about that. And, yeah, very long-term save, like I said, for a long duration of FM17. They're that kind of team, like mid-table. <laughs> in this save, not quite. See, they're fighting for their survival. So, uh, I think we would have about the same amount to play for in different ways, obviously, <laughs> because they're trying to stay in the division. But at the same time, we really want to make sure we uh, get in Champions League. So, we need this goal back. Damien, can he get in the cross? It was a poor cross, really. It was too close to the goalkeeper. Come on, win this. Don't tell me they're going to score another. Lingard did well there. Laporte. Laporte to Schneiderlin now out wide to Lingard, who I do really want to give chances to. Oh, Rashford! Rashford! A bit selfish there. But look how much we're actually dominating possession. 67%. Like, to me, oh, we have to do a bit more with it. To me, we'll have to go a bit higher tempo and more direct passing. Because, yeah, we're kind of... <laughs> we're kind of dominating the ball right now. We have to do a bit more with it and a bit more urgency, I'd like to think. So now they've got the throw in, Tadic, a second goal would be a big blow and would be like 2-0 is always hard to come back from. We're playing away from home in the league as well. It's not easy to come back from no matter who you're playing against. As I said, Southampton, they don't have bad players. Oh my God. They're maintaining possession well here. This is not looking good. And this is going to be a shocking score line for the match stats. <laughs> it's 2-0 somehow. Like, yeah, I don't know. 
Sometimes you can't explain what's happened in Football Manager. Uh, Tadic got past, played through to Pala. See, these are good players. That was a good finish. But again, well, they've had four shots on target, but wow. I feel like, yeah, that's so wrong. Like, to me, we dominated the game possession-wise. And they're winning 2-0? So the good thing is, like, as an absolute minimum, you can see the table, we're pretty safe at least in four. So he should be in champion. Oh, my God. See, that's just... Oh, one matter. What are you doing, mate? Just, it's just poor. Just poor from our players when they make errors like that. But luckily, we have still got the ball. Daily Blue... See, needlessly giving away the ball. Oh, both teams are doing it, to be fair. Wayne Rooney. Memphis, come on Memphis, that's smart, that's smart, and that is better one matter, fifth goal of the season, but how good was that from Memphis, Rooney, the, the run was really smart from Memphis, uh, but then the execution of that pass across the goals, and yeah, essentially just a tap in from one matter, he cannot miss that, so now we've still got plenty of time now, again, could we score two more goals, there definitely yeah would be time, but I'd be happy with just salvaging a draw from this, to be honest. But real, I'd want to win. At this point, we need to be winning. Oh, we've got Liverpool. we still got extra game to Liverpool. Oh, no. I was expecting to concede there, to be honest. Okay, Cedric with the throw-in. It's Tadic. Rodriguez. Rod it's another penalty. I swear this season, oh, how many penalties have we conceded? And at, in crucial games. Ugh. Uh, kind of every single game in the league is crucial. Oh, Daya saves it! Oh, my God. Surely. I th uh, we have... Okay, there's a highlight right away. Wow. Well done, Daya. He saved us. <laughs> That's all I can say. I was, uh, I was just expecting to concede. I suppose with the amount of penalties... Uh, oh, root! See, what is that? <laughs> Ah, uh, it's very frustrating. Was that the highlight? But maybe nothing else is going to come. Because, yeah, we haven't been good in this game. There's... Oh, but some players have played decent games. Like Carrera, 7.9. Juan Mata, 7.5. Maybe. Maybe it's just been a disappointing game from us as a whole. Like Defensively, we haven't been bad, it looks like. Look, Chris Smalling, 7. Point, uh, but no. Just didn't happen for us in this game. It was a tricky one, though. It was a tricky one against a team that was below the position they should be in and really needing to escape that. They got the result they needed. Uh, yeah, not good enough today. And now for the third and final game of the episode, it is the second leg against West Ham. And once more, always the last game of the episode will set the tone of it, hopefully... We can finish it off with a win and we'll be advancing into uh, the next stage of the Europa League. Like I said, it, it is always positive. So I really want to make sure we win. Because if we lose, get knocked out, not very good. Like, I want to at least make the final of the Europa League. But then, yeah, if you make it at least at the final, you just, yeah, you want to win it. You don't want to lose in the final. So pretty much the goal is to win it. <laughs> That's almost a minimum expectation. And we are resting Laporte's. And Schweinsteiger, they could be important. Don't want him picking up yellow cards. Might come on at some point. Oh, yeah, who knows? <laughs> yeah, who knows? I don't want them missing. Like, yeah, Phil Jones, he can play out this game. If he picks up a yellow card, sure, he'll miss the next one. <laughs> that will be okay. But, yeah, it makes it tough because I'm pretty sure th you have suspensions to keep players throughout a campaign, like Champions League or Europa League campaign. Especially if you make it to the final, you will deal with suspensions maybe less than I would, <laughs> playing more aggressive game, but still, yeah, you are going to have to deal with suspensions on some level, but yeah, we're going to get straight into it. So this is another game here, we're having that over 60% of possession, and even though we haven't scored yet, I don't want to be pressured into changing it, like maybe we need to take advantage, that's why I thought in the last game in Southampton, but yeah, maybe this style doesn't really suit it. Uh, playing a bit more attacking. Oh, how about that? We score. So we do get that goal. And yeah, or not, not attacking exactly, more direct play. Just, yeah, keeping the possession, short passing. Even though that goal was from a corner, <laughs> the point remains. But yeah, if we can snag that goal, that it's absolutely perfect. And keep playing that style because then they obviously need to go for it a bit more. 
and chances will open up for us. But what a finish from Ander Herrera, who's actually had a really, really good season. He's, oh, I'm not sure, has he been our best player? His ratings have been really good consistently. He's been, what, assisting goals and comes up with a goal now. Really consistent this season. And now it's Darman with the throw. We could finish off this tie right here. And Herrera finds one matter. Oh, it's going to be a pen. Yes, we get one. We didn't get too many penalties. One matter's got an injury. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ibrahimovic has the prowess to finish on the rebound. I was surprised. He, yeah, well, he didn't miss the penalty. It was saved by Adrian. But, yeah, wow. How about the awareness? One matter. Sure, maybe a little bit realistic. He'll be watching it. You can't really tell if you... How about the 3D in Football Manager? Top notch. <laughs> For 2016, man. But there is a highlight right away. One matter is off. Hopefully we don't concede while he's off and that goal will get cancelled out. Ah, yeah, well defended. Come on. He's got a gashed head. I think he should be able to play on. He shouldn't get like a permanent... In I'll just say, yeah, keep on for now. He should be all right. So, yeah, well, we got the two goals in the first half. It feels really comfortable. And see, one Mata, he is probably going to have a little bit of a permanent injury. Maybe shouldn't be any more than a week for a gashed head, I would like to think. One Mata, but I probably still end up substituting him early. Ibrahimovic... Let's finish it off for sure, for sure. Three goals in the first half. Wow, this is a clinical performance. This is Manchester United. This is Manchester United. This is what I know we can do. And again, not even our best team are playing. I know majority of our best players, but we're still missing a decent amount. So we're doing really well. And yeah, like I said, and not just winning for sure here. We're doing it for sure. Luke Shaw, who's injured. We're doing it for him. <laughs> he can't take part of the game. So, we'll just say, yeah, don't get complacent here. I know it's been fantastic, but, yeah, don't lose it. I know we're leading 4-0 on aggregate, so we really shouldn't. So, here it's Rooney. Jones, Memphis, what a finish. Oh, talk about a positive game to finish off the episode. It's 5-0 on aggregate. And I really think playing like this, like at home, like Manchester United at home, this is what Manchester United do. Just dominate teams. Memphis, how about that strike as well? Wow. <laughs> the way it was just bouncing up, that was pretty good. But yeah, this is an excellent performance here at home. This is dominating Manchester United. Like, oh, I just, we need to be more consistent. Like, tactically, like, this is, like, at home, Manchester United, dominant 4-4-2. Doesn't it just give you feels of Manchester United, how Manchester United should be playing, you know? It just, yeah, it feels good for me. We'll substitute one matter out, especially when I can make signings, more signings next season, and really shape the team the way I want to. Like, maybe players like Ashley Young, Jesse Lingard may not be there. It's like a couple wingers, so we may, yeah, rejuvenate. Uh, Manchester United a little bit and maybe bring in players that could play that natural wide midfield even though we're not playing that in this game so that's something to consider playing with a wide playmaker and a winger in the role so again we'll just go to the winger for Ashley Young and that's at least for at home maybe better for away from home um, the wide midfielders and wingers to be a bit more attacking when you're playing at home yeah uh, either way it's something to think about. So just the five minutes remaining now. And again, I've already said it in this game. It has been a great performance. It's been perfect. Manchester United stuff. We just need to see this consistently now. So that tells me it's player ability for the most part. Maybe slight tactical changes going forward. But to me, really, yeah, this we've got this down pat. We just need quality and full rotations and everything like that. Better quality in for the next season. And yeah, we're going to be playing some good football over the next couple seasons, I would like to think. Definitely Champions League is going to be in sight. And maybe there will be hope for what I mentioned for this series. In the previous episode, I was scared of losing the chance of that. Winning the Europa League and Champions League in the same save. I've never done that before. And obviously, there needs to be certain circumstances for you to do that because, yeah, if you're a team that wins Champions League, if you finish in Europa League position, you might get fired, like if you've got top four expectations. So, yeah, it, like I said, needs to be certain circumstances uh, like this with Manchester United. But hopefully, I will be able to do that, see some other results. Oh, FC Porto, they lose 3-0 in this leg. What happened? What happened? That's <laughs> That's it. What happened to them? They lose. 
Wow. And Inter, oh, on extra time. So that's big. But yeah, well, um, some interesting games there. I definitely think we should be able to make the final, but I've got oh, a lot of messages right now. Anything of note, one matter. Uh, yeah, it's a short-term injury for a gashed head. I'm surprised. I thought it should be in like a couple of days. It's, and he should be able to play. It's just like a head injury. I think, yeah, he should. But anyway, don't worry about that. So I just want to see when is the next stage you're going to be drawn. Is it within... Oh, it's to, where are we? Where's the draw? Oh, no, wait. Ah, uh, it was drawn already. It was drawn already. I just remembered. There we go. Yeah. Oh, yes, it's going to be again. Yeah, because I thought it, we could have been facing FC Porto, but against Victoria Plazen, if that's how you say, probably not, because I can't speak or pronounce words in their country. Well, they're from Czech Republic. <laughs> uh, there you go. But anyway, but they did beat FC Porto. So if I thought FC Porto was good, I think we should be able to beat them. <laughs> oh, who knows? Who's this? Uh, Michal Duris? Smashing a lot of goals, but yeah, they're obviously on good form right now. So hopefully we should be able to beat them, though we just need to kind of assess what's going to happen next in terms of what the next episode is going to be. Uh, maybe oh, Leicester and Tottenham. But see, this is the thing right now. We've got a top four position really sealed. So you think Tottenham, that's an important game. But yeah, like we're eight points ahead of them. We're not really going to... Uh, kind of drop out of the top four realistically uh, with our form. So, yeah, towards the end of a season uh, in the league, this kind of occasion where we're really not going to win the league as well. You can see the difference between... Even though we do have an extra game to play to Arsenal, yeah, you, you can kind of tell how it's going to play out realistically. So, next episode, yeah, we'll just be... I, I, like, I like doing cup games. <laughs> like, it's knockout, it's like pressure situations and everything like that so yeah hopefully we will be able to do well we've got a lot of games at home so i feel comfortable at home like southampton not the best result away from home but yeah some home games uh, we should be able to get the job done we'll see anyway hope you guys enjoyed it drop a like if you did and i'll see you guys in the very next video